Nene, Cynthia, and Candy takes a girls' weekend in Miami. Tim turns 33. Phaedra want to work with the damn dead. And Sheree's son might be gay. How you doing? The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season four, episode two. This episode was very boring. I'm going to be honest. This episode was very, very boring for me. The whole time when I'm watching this episode, I'm like, bitch, where's the drama? Where's the fucking hair pulling? Where's the... That's why I watched The Real Housewives of Atlanta. So it wasn't there. But I'm going to try to keep this video, this recap, as entertaining as possible. The show opens up with Nene, Candy, and Cynthia. They took this girls weekend in Miami, bitch. Why are you three girls taking a random ass vacation weekend thingy, I guess? Whatever, bitch. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever makes your fucking pussy wet. But they was in Miami for the weekend. And um, they was at their hotel. And they went out to dinner. And while they went to dinner, Candy brought up Sheree and Kim and all the bickering on the fighting. She also brought up the fact that Nene was telling everybody or telling Sheree that she was rich, bitch, and all this thing. And Nene was fucking Nene. Big Bang Hank Nene. Um, I am rich, and I said it because I am rich. But I'm like, bitch, why do you have to tell people that you're rich? If you're rich, people will know it. And let me tell you something, Nene, because obviously you don't know what the meaning of rich is. Beyonce is rich. Diddy is rich, okay? Donald Trump is rich. You got a few damn tokens, bitch. That don't make you rich. Okay, that just means you got some money to get your motherfucking bills paid. Like, let's not confuse the two. Come on, bitch. I'm going to let you alone. We're going to get back to the subject at hand. And that's why that you got so fucking mad when Candy ass said something about Sheree and Kim. I thought that was very childish of you to get mad and let something like something so small ruin your motherfucking dinner. Bitch, me and my friends go out all the fucking time. All the goddamn time. And we talk about this. We talk about that. Talk about this, that, and the third, bitch. And we might bring up names... Or they might bring them names that I don't like, but it ain't gonna make me ruin my goddamn steak. I'm gonna fuck the steak up. And then you supposed to be rich, bitch. You shouldn't let a bitch name like Sheree or Kim ruin your rich ass night, bitch. What else did they do while I was in Miami? They went to the beach. They played frisbee with these white guys. Candy thighs were fat as fuck. Oh! Nene ass went to go look at her house while she was in Miami because she talking about she going to relocate and after her divorce, she's going to start over. And this bitch go look at a $9 million house. I don't know who the fuck you trying to fool, bitch. You ain't got no motherfucking $9 million. No motherfucking word, bitch. I just don't see it for you in that damn house. Nene trying to fool us, trying to make us think that she can go buy her a $9 million house, but she going to buy her son a used car. <laughs> bitch, boom. The lies have to stop. Like, I'm, I'm tired of them already. The lies need to stop, Kim, bitch. You are not 33. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ain't that many cookies in the world, bitch, gonna make me believe that your ass is 33. So it's Kim's birthday, and Croy took the bitch out for dinner. They had a nice, lovely dinner. He gave her her gift. It was a $22,000 bracelet, bitch. $22,000 bracelet. I thought that was the sweetest thing in the world. I really like Croy for Kim. I really do. Even though Kim is a fucking stupid bitch, but Croy is really... Nice for her. He calms her down. He makes her seem so motherly now. I don't know if it's a pregnancy or if it's him, but I like Croy with Kim. And I thought it was very sweet. He also planned um, a surprise birthday party for her while they was at dinner, and the little serving coon sweetie helped with it, and it was very nice. Sheree was there. Uh, Candy was there. Phaedra was there. But, bitch, they read Nene like a motherfucking magazine, bitch. They read Nene like a motherfucking magazine. Hey, Beyonce, girl. They were talking about your teeth. They were talking about your shit getting repossessed. They was reading your ass, bitch. And I was mad you was not there to defend yourself and get them bitches together. Because, Kim, girl, you can't talk about nobody's appearance, bitch. We have yet to find your motherfucking hairline, bitch. And then you want to talk about somebody's teeth when your daughter sitting over there like she been eating rocks, bitch. Mm-mm. Don't do it, Sheree. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What is Phaedra's obsession with the damn dead? What is... I don't get it. Like, the dead creeped me out. I don't get it. Phaedra went to this guy again with that old funny-ass talk. Who, Sister Phaedra. Sister, sister. I hate people who talk with a damn list. Oh, my God. That's just so irritating. It irks my motherfucking soul. Irks my damn nerve. Phaedra wants to be in the funeral business, bitch. She want to put your ass in the ground. You can tell Phaedra's in it for the fucking dollar, bitch. She don't give a fuck about them folks or the fucking dead people. She good at it, bitch. Don't get me wrong, because, bitch, she's looking for her next motherfucking dollar, her next goddamn check, and I don't blame your ass. Get your motherfucking money, Phaedra. But this is my thing. Like, since when does funerals have to put on a fucking show? 
fancy. Why does a funeral have to be so damn fancy, bitch? When I remember when funerals was about family and friends coming together in their time of bereavement, bitch, if that's how you say the words, you console each other and you remember that person in a good light, you have a coffin, you have the choir, everybody in their black, and you say some good shit and you put their ass in dirt. Now, this bitch wants to have top hats and horses and doves and, and, and motherfucking lions and tigers and bears. Oh, mine, put your ass in a motherfucking hearse that play ice cream truck music. I don't understand. Sheree took her son to the store to go get some cleats because he played football and he needed some new cleats. And while they was there, she was talking to him and she was all up in his business asking about a little girl he used to date or go to school with when he took her out on a, I guess, some kind of ball or banquet thing or some shit like that. Or maybe it was a dance. Or oh, I'm talking about how he was shy and he need a male figure in his life, this, that, and the third. And I just kind of believe, and this is just me, I don't know how y'all feel, but when I was watching it, it made me feel like she maybe she thought he was gay. How he need more male positivity in his life because I don't know if his father's in his life. I don't know if what's going on with this situation. But, bitch, I was like, you don't talk about this stuff on camera. Like, he probably embarrassed his ass. That's why he want to talk to you, bitch. But fuck all that, whether he's gay or not, bitch. What's up with that nigga hair? That nigga hair was nappy as a motherfucker. Goddamn, Sheree. Your ass walking around all buff and fabulous, and you got this motherfucker looking like goddamn Kunta. Motherfucker can't take about damn head. That nigga hair was rough, nappy as a motherfucker. I ain't see Am Waves. Am motherfucking Waves, bitch. Get that nigga a line, because he showed sure need and looking like his ugly ass dad. That motherfucker know he was ugly. Kareek, Kareek, Kayu, whatever that nigga name is. Please, take his ass to the barbershop. shop. As I stated in the beginning of this video, this episode was kind of boring, but next week's episode is going to be really, really good. We're going to find to the conversation between Cynthia's husband and Phaedra's husband at Kim's baby shower. I cannot wait. That's all the time I have. This is your first time watching me. You like what you've seen. Please press the subscribe button up top. Thumbs up this video and leave me a good comment of what you thought about The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 4, Episode 2, in the puss box below. I will talk to you guys next time. Peace. Peace.